Hey guys, Romy here, so please like, comment, subscribe. This was definitely a filler episode of American Horror Story. I get that the premise was to set up, you know, what's going to happen for the rest of the season, but I was just looking at this like, uh, okay. So, the episode essentially starts off with, guess who's here? Lena Dunham. Yes, Lena Dunham is playing Valerie Sinalis. Uh, Sinalis, whatever. And Valerie is this rebel. She's this ex she's more so like a feminine extremist. The episode starts off with her having sex with someone in the back of his car for ten dollars, but he only had five dollars on her. She goes to get a gun to buy a gun and some bullets, and she's doing that because she works. Well, she's trying to work with Andy Warhol, and so that doesn't go so well. He's very sexist. He's acting very sexist to her, by the way. Kai's playing Andy Warhol's character. So, again, you're seeing the parallels of what's going on then and now. And the issue is that she's uh, he's very sexist. He um, told her, essentially, that she needs to go and lose some weight. And maybe that'll make her feel better. Or maybe that'll get her some roles or jobs or be heard. So, she gets the gun. She shoots him. She shoots him. She doesn't kill him. Uh, in real life, when this happened, he didn't die. But she shoots him, and so then, because of that, of course, they know it was her. They put her in the loony bin. While she's in the loony bin, hmm, she formulates this plan. But before we see that, we go back to present day. And yes, they do know that Meadow was a shooter, and that Harrison is her husband. Um, and the whole thing is that Allie, because she had the gun in her hand, they had to take her in for questioning, like, what was going on? Harrison downplayed it. Kai... He became, he he went up 20 points because of it and essentially won. He was really running unopposed. So I guess everyone's celebrating, except for Beverly. Beverly's over it because Beverly's thinking of the fact that, wait a minute, she did all of this for this dude and what's really happening for her? She gets, um, she gets greeted by this woman named Baba. Is that, is that what her name is? No, BB. BB Babbitt. So BB Babbitt who played, who's been on the show, well, on this franchise series multiple times. Um, she's the one, the older short lady with the, what is it, lazy or crooked or, with the whole eye thing. So, yeah, she meets up with Beverly and she's like, are you really happy with what's going on? Are you really happy with how everything's turning out? Are you really happy with what he's doing? So Beverly, Beverly goes over the Kai's and realizes, what are all these people doing here? I mean, it was scary. It was scary. I said, is this is a cult. At this point, this is a cult. All you see are um, like maybe teenage, 20-something year old white men in this house. If And they're all there to support Kai. And Beverly realizes, uh, uh this isn't right. Because originally they weren't even laying her in. Downstairs, they're still formulating a plan. And she's not really in on it. She's trying to figure out with Kai what's the next move, what's the next game plan. And again, this is where she realizes that she was just being used to go and help and further along his agenda. And now there's so many other people a part of it. It's not special. You're not special anymore, Beverly. You're not special to him. So then Beverly decides she wants to go and meet up with BB because she needs to figure out, okay... Since the one dude who was supposed to give me answers is not there, not to go to someone else. We see that Ivy is there as well. Ivy, Winter, and them, they're all there because they need to go and talk about... Oh, Bigsby needs to chill out. Um, they need to go and figure out what's their next game move, what's their game plan. Kai's using them. Kai doesn't really care about them. Kai, 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 Kai. So then we see... In the past, that Valerie, she was creating this cult. She was creating this group of women who were going to go and help her, you know, essentially go and exterminate. She really had, she had a lot of issues. She was raped by her father and she was potentially raped by her father and her uh, stepfather and got pregnant and twice. So she has a lot of issues and... She's just trying to go and figure out, you know, women are power, women are all that matters. But she also has a problem with women who cater to men and make sure that the man is held up instead of the woman also being up with uh, the man. So because of all of that, 
again, she starts assimilating these group of women, and they're going to devise a plan. They're essentially going to go and kill couples. They're going to kill couples. They're going to get deemed the Zodiac Killer. And, uh, well, that's the name that's initially given, like the Zodiac Killer. No one knows who it is. Oh, and then we saw the girl who had, the girl who always, like, looks and plays... Like, the special needs. I forgot her name. Remember in Coven, she was one of the witches? She, she's kind of mid-height, short, mid-height, round face. Yeah. So, anyway, she's back, too. So, it's nice to see those old faces. But, while this is going on, like I said, what ends up happening is they start killing people. They start killing people. They start killing people out in public. They start killing people in their homes. They just keep doing one after the other after the other. And they're not caught. They're not caught no one knows who it is they um and it's weird because it's not like they're trying to hide it either it's essentially like hello valerie was here and people were ignoring her people were ignoring her they weren't giving her her credit her just due remember she's also in the loony bin so they're not really attaching it to her um as of yet and things take a turn because they actually had these two gay guys who were also a part of it one of the gay guys turned out he was going and leaking information to the press and she got pissed because she said, wait a minute, I'm orchestrating all of this and you're taking my credit and you're about to let your fellow gay go and get killed? Are you kidding me? And he also had a watch that said Zodiac, which is a brand. So it was only a matter of time. They went, made an example out of him, ripped off his um, testicles and his penis, put it in his mouth. The police found it. And they still weren't getting charged. So she was like, what's going on? She pretty much said, I'm the killer. I'm the killer. Now, remember, the media is thinking that it's a man at this point. So they're like, this woman, she's cuckoo. She just came out of the Lulu bin. And she's trying to go and say that she's a Zodiac killer. I don't think so. I don't think so. And one after one, she gets more upset and much more frustrated. And because of that, what ends up happening is people start bowing out. People start looking at her like, are you serious? Are you crazy? Are you cuckoo? Are you, are you really? They just look at her and think, really, what is wrong with this woman? So even the people that are supposed to be on her side, they go and bounce as they should because she was loony. And the thing is, she started, she was starting to get paranoid. She started seeing things. She thought she saw her boss in her apartment and, you know, she was actually just so distraught that she accidentally fell. And I guess this, we can say how she died. But the moral of the story was... Ladies, Kai is using you. I don't know why you're letting him do it because he's going to go make whatever he's going to make from this and you are just going to be his little sidekicks. Is that all that you want? Is that all that you want from life? Just to be someone's sidekick? So then uh, Winter goes and she talks to Kai. Kai is talking to his dead parents and yes, their skeleton, their remains are still in the house. So he goes and tells her, look, I know you have this book. I actually like the idea. It's, you know, the feminist book from Valerie. I actually like the idea. I need some ideologies. I can't just go and, you know, say I'm me, I'm this, I'm that, and you need to follow. No, we need something stronger. We need something more. And Kai also essentially lets her know that, look, I know you're thinking you're feeling a certain way about some something, and I'm going to go and give you a breadcrumb. So he says that Harrison, yes, Harrison's the one that went and said that, what was it? He made up this acronym, essentially, men first, women last, or something like that, but a lot more harsh. Uh, and so then they invite Harrison, they as in all the ladies, including Ivy, they invite Harrison, and they let him know that, look, we're going to kill you. And they kill him. And Ivy's the one that goes and takes a chainsaw. And cuts his, slices his, his chest and his throat. I'm thinking, wait a minute, Ivy. When did you all of a sudden become such a bad? Like, really? What, when did that happen? And they made sure that on the news, you could tell Beverly was pissed. Beverly had that look of, look, at the end of the day, uh, this dude was dead. I, we don't know if he deserved it or not, but things aren't safe. And it looks like no new regime is going to go and help them out. Kai knows that it's shots fired. He knows it, especially since he orchestrated it. He orchestrated it with BB. BB was working with him because this is her own way of making change by um, creating change. 
she's doing it by tricking these women into going and making some opposition. But I, I just really want Beverly. I want Beverly. I want Beverly to succeed. I do. I do. I want her to succeed. I believe in her. And let me know what you think. Yes, the sound is fixed. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. The sound is fixed because I got a new camera. So it wasn't by some miracle. No. <laughs> the miracle is GoPro got more money out of me. Jesus. All right. See you next week or tonight because Empire, uh, let's see, Empire, Queen Sugar, Star. So, see, and then Scandal and How to Get Away with Mary. Oh,